Welcome to my channel and I'm here to inspire you, give you crochet advice and help you along with your next project. If you enjoyed this pattern please give me a thumbs up or even comment so I can gauge your interest. It helps me to know what to film next. I'm not very formal. Here's today's zinger. You think chocolate is addictive? You need to try crochet and then have two addictions. You know you just need a third arm in order to eat a bag of chips at the same time. Can somebody please pass me the Doritos? <laughs> Without further ado, let's get on with today's tutorial. Welcome back to the Crochet Crowd. This is my friends over at Yarnspirations.com. I'm your host Mikey. Today it's the Chiclet Binky Leash. This is gonna be holding a pacifier and attaching to a child's collar or whatever you'd like to attach it with so that the child is uh, wearing this. Um, make sure that it's not too long. We have the instructions. Uh, the picture makes these look a lot bigger than they are. Really quite a quick project and you can get a clip. I got one of these clips at Michael's here uh, this morning and uh, something that you can get and it will clip on to something very hard to open which is what you're wanting right of course. And so the binky then will slide into this section here. So what you're going to do is you're going to put this through that big hole and, will, and your binky um, handle will be on the inside of here. So you're just gonna move it up and it will be stuck right here. Okay, so that's how you're going to do that. Really quite an easy project to be able to manage. There's only actually technically three uh, uh, sets of instructions for this which is awesome. You'll notice that the pattern has an interior that is a different color which you can do uh, or you can keep it all the same color. You can decide what's going to work for you. So you'll need a size D as in dog or a 3.25 millimeter hook. Uh, mine is a three millimeter hook and I'm also using Peyton's Grace um, yarn. I'm unsure if the Aunt Lydia's baby shower yarn is still available. So I'm just switching off here. Make sure that it's a nice thin mercerized cotton. You wanna use cotton for this and or you can use other kinds of cotton that you want to because it's extremely strong especially when a baby is involved. Let's begin the instructions and let's start working on this now. As we start working on these right here these are actually puff stitches. They're calling them chiclets. There's a total of 22 of those. So if you want your uh, chain to be longer then all you just gotta do is keep adding more of these chiclets to it. So what we're going to do is that we're gonna build the chiclets on top of each other and there's a total of 22 as I mentioned and then after that we're going to circle once around to create the foundation and then the final circle we're going to insert the clip into it if you'd like to do that and then you're going to circle back around. So it's really quite an easy uh, thing to be able to manage and let's begin the journey now. Here we go. So let's create a slip knot and be careful with any loose ends that you will have. This is a child's project so and if they're wearing it you wanna make sure that you're taking your time. A great craft show project as I think I mentioned. You're going to chain a total of four. So one, two, three and four. And it says to do a chiclet in the fourth chain from the hook. All it is is a puff stitch and all you need to do is do it four times. So you wrap the hook and go into the fourth chain from the hook going in and yarn over pull through. So that's one time. You need to do it a total of four times. So wrap the hook same sec, uh, same stitch going in yarn over pull through. Okay do it again. and again. You will end up with nine loops on your hook. You can count them if you want to but once you're familiar with this you can just ram it through. <laughs> okay so now what I would do if I were you is that you need to pull through everything. Okay and before you move on it says to turn and then chain three. I found it's easier if you chain three before you turn. So just chain three. So one, two, and three and then turn the chiclet like that. See this space? That's where you're gonna play with them next. So all you're doing is you're building these chiclets on top of each other. So in this space you'll do another chiclet. So wrap the hook and going into the space yarn over pull through and you'll do that four times. So that was one, two, three and four. And once you have that done you'll have nine loops on your hook. Yarn over pull through everything and as I mentioned I feel it's easier to chain three before you turn. So you can decide what you wanna do. So one, two, three and then turn. Now you're gonna build the chiclets on top of each other. So 
just open it up and you see this space right here. That's where your next chiclet is going to be. So in and do that four times. So you will see a total of 22 chiclets by the time it's suggesting for the pattern. So yarn over, pull through everything, then chain three, one, two, and three, turn your work, and now you're gonna see the chiclets starting to build up onto each other in a diagonal format. So do you see that? Or a zigzag format. So then let's do another chiclet. Okay, one, two, three, turn, and do you see that? Isn't that neat? So what I want you to do is keep building your chiclets on top of each other until you can count a total of 22 of these and that's where I'm gonna pick you up next. So once you can count 22 chiclets, again if you wanna make this longer, this is not as long as you think it, it is. So if you wanna make it longer, you can just continually add more chiclets and just adjust and it's very fully adjustable. Right where you're sitting right now is where you're going to start and you are gonna go down the one side around the top here and then back down the other side and when we come back around we're going to be adding the clip on the final round. So right where you're sitting here this is going to start our edging and we're going to begin the first round. So right now I want you to just chain five. So one, two, three, four, and five. Just to know after the chiclet was done I never chained three. That time I just pulled it through. Now I want you to come into the space. See where this chiclet's sitting? Come into this space and single crochet. And then that's gonna be your marker every time you're coming in. So you're gonna chain five. So one, two, three, four, five. And then see where the other chiclet is? Come right to the space below it and single crochet. And you're gonna work all the way down your side doing that. That's why you can change the size of this no problem. So one, two, three, four, five, and then come into the next one. So please go all the way down and I'll meet you at the base of this because we need to create that large loop where the binky handle will rest inside. Now I'm coming all the way down the side and now I'm at the base. So at the base here what I want to do is that I want to come into the first chiclet right here and I'm going to single crochet. I'll deal with this loose end later. And now I'm going to chain a total of 14. So this will create a large loop. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, and fourteen. Once the fourteen are done, right where I'm sitting in the last one, I'll go into the exact same section. And that will create that large loop. And now you're gonna work down this side here of matching where the stitches are, are appearing. So just chain five again. So one, two, three, four, five, and just come in below the chiclet. And then single crochet. Make sure you keep things nice and tight. And then one, two, three, four, five, and then again just keep in the same spots going all the way back down. Two, three, four, five, and etc. So go all the way and I will see you back at the beginning of where we started and I'll show you how to add in the clip next. So I'm coming all the way down to the other side here and this is where I'm going to then circle back around. So right at this chiclet right here I wanna make sure that we're gonna get right in. I want you to get your clip ready and so your clip will then have an open hole and it may look different than this but this is what we wanna use. So when you go to go through you're gonna place in six single crochets that will go through this plus the clip at the same time. So just coming in and you want to just make sure that it attaches to something solid. Okay, in this case it's a chain and then just put the clip on and once you do it the first time it'll hold it for you and you're gonna single crochet right around that clip. So now the clip is in and you wanna do that a total of six times. So that was one two, three, four, five, 
and six. And now the clip is permanently in position. Now each one of these chain five spaces are going to have six single crochets in each except for the, the big one at the end. So just start going around into the space. So one, two, three, four, five, and six. And as soon as that six is done you jump to the next space and ply six single crochets. So do this all the way down the side and then I'll see you in that big loop in just a moment. Once you get all the way to the large loop, in the large loop you're going to have 18 single crochets around that large loop. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, and eighteen. And once your eighteen are done just skip to your next space and those are your um, ones with the sixes in. See this loose end? You can put it around that and it will get trapped underneath those stitch work. So you want your six single crochets then in each of these chain five spaces all the way back to the clip. And I'll be right back in a moment. So I'm getting back to where the clip is and I'm just going to slip stitch it into the first single crochet that I started with. Now you are going to want to take your time especially with your loose ends to be able to hide those in. And you want to make sure that they get hidden in, in the fact that they will not pop out on you. So just pull it through and turn it to the back side. So any loose ends that you have I'd recommend grabbing your tapestry needle for sure. Like I don't even think that should be negotiable um, especially when a child is involved. So just take it through the back of the project and just feed this through the underside of the stitches. And you're gonna go through once and when you pull on it don't change the shape of the project but just make sure it's, it's taut and then going back to where you came from that's the second time and then finally you're gonna do it one more time. Three times is a charm. You'll wanna do this with any loose ends that you have. And the further that you bury it the more unlikely that it will pop out on you. So you're just gonna do that and I'll do that with any loose ends that I have. So I have the one over here and that I have to do that with and this would be how you would do that. So um, I've already done this off camera and that would be your binky uh, leash just like you see. So what I would do is spray it with some water and just lay it flat and let dry and then when it's in use you put your pacifier handle here and then you'll just feed the one side through the other. So it's like applying a luggage tag to a handle. So you'll feed that through and that will trap the pacifier handle in the loop. And then the other side then will attach to a child's collar or wherever you need to attach it to and therefore you should never have to lose your binky. So that's it for today. We hope that you enjoy and I'm Mikey on behalf of the Crochet Crowd as well as my friends at yarnspirations.com. Have a good one and we hope to see you again real soon. Bye bye.